It is a reunion that one family is calling an early Christmas miracle. We're calling it an incredible story. Yeah. A woman who disappeared over 50 years ago is found alive in Fort Worth, Texas. And while most of her family is there with her now, one of her siblings lives here in Illinois. CBS 2's Asal Rezai joins us live now in the newsroom. Asal, you spoke with her younger sister who lives in Aurora. Yeah, Joe Marie, she tells me she has spent decades trying to find her sister. She says they never gave up hope, and that's exactly what brought her sister home. The story of how Melissa Highsmith disappeared has haunted her family for 51 years. Her younger sister, Rebecca Del Bosque, who lives in Aurora, has been relentless in the search. I put her name in and she popped up and I saw her picture. Her younger sister, Sharon Highsmith. Sharon joined us on Zoom from Madrid, Spain. They've both spent years trying to find her. My dad matched with one of her children on 23andMe. Okay. My sister matched with two of her children on Ancestry. Finally, with the help from a genealogy enthusiast, a break in their case. We never gave up hope, but then when we found her, it was like, no way! <laughs> like, what? Did it really happen? Melissa Highsmith was just 22 months old when her babysitter picked her up from their home in Fort Worth, Texas in 1971. The babysitter disappeared with Melissa. She grew up in Fort Worth, never knowing she had been kidnapped. Our sister station in Dallas met with Melissa and her parents after their emotional reunion. I just couldn't believe it. I thought I would never see her again. And they said, Dad, she's alive. <laughs> and I started crying. And after 51 years, it's so emotional. And while Melissa settles into her new reality. My heart right now is just full and, 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 and bursting with just so much emotion. And A sister she has yet to meet is getting ready for what is sure to be her most special holiday season yet. Buying something for her and coming and looking her in the face and hugging her and just loving her, like loving on her and just sitting next to her and having a big sister the first time in my life. And Melissa, the woman who's been found is the oldest of her four siblings. So you can imagine how overjoyed the family is. Many of them will be meeting on Christmas for the very first time. I'm live in the newsroom tonight. I saw Rezai, CBS wow. 2 News. What a story, I saw. It's just amazing to hear those family members 50 years later. They never lost hope. It is. Thanks, us all.